Health organization said on Thursday calls to domestic violence hotlines in Europe are up by as much as three-fifths of as alcohol and drug abuse combined with close confinement in coronavirus lockdowns to fuel abuse of the most vulnerable. WHO Regional Director for Europe, Hans Klodge, said the stress and anxiety bred of weeks of restrictions on public life have made uncertainty, separation and fear part of daily life for many. WHO is deeply troubled by the reports from many countries, including Belgium, Bulgaria, France, Ireland, Russian Federation, Spain, UK and others of increases in interpersonal violence, including violence against women and men, by an intimate partner and against children because of the COVID-19 response. Although data is scarce, Member states are reporting up to a 60% increase in emergency calls by women subjected to violence by their intimate partners in April this year, compared to last. With job losses, rising alcohol-based harm and drug use, stress and fear, the legacy of this pandemic could haunt us for years. So much related to COVID-19 has been unparalleled and is outside our control and understanding. Deeply troubled by the reports from many countries, including Belgium, Bulgaria, France, Ireland, Russian Federation, Spain, UK and others, of increases in interpersonal violence, including violence against women and men. Joining us to give more insight on this is Larry Lushola, a behavioral change coach. Good morning, Mr. Larry. Good oh, morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. And how are you doing this morning, sir? Oh, very good, thank you. Good to know. I hope you're staying safe. I hope everyone is keeping well. Yes, and I well am. Done for all the, for, well done for all the great work you guys are doing. Thank you very much, Mr. Larry. There are reports suggesting there is <coughs> increase in domestic violence during the period of lockdown. Can you give us an insight into what could bring um, this kind of development? I mean, it's a very interesting times. Uh, if you will agree with me, everyone is stressed. Uh, everywhere you turn, uh, you're hearing information about death. <clears throat> you're hearing information about being attacked by an invisible enemy that you have no control over. So there's a widespread of panic, anxiety, fear, um, worry, and stress. And, you know, um, this is going to affect everyone because, you know, you have heightened and increased the levels of adrenaline and cortisol in your system. And you all know that we are all biochemical beings. Uh, with the increased level of those kinds of biochemicals in your system, uh, there's no way you will not be irritated. You will not have a heightened state of, you know, restlessness, um, you know, and, 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 and heightened state of emotions. So that's on the first. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing is that you know many people uh, are different. You know, you have some people that are you know uh, um, extroverted human beings. You know, they 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 feed off energy of people. They like to interact with people. They like to engage with people, and so they are locked down. They've been locked down for weeks. Uh, another issue is that you know this uh, pandemic is you know it's creating a lot of depression, anxiety, um, it's, it's creating, you know, uh, additional mental health issues. So, you know, everybody's on edge. Everybody's on edge. So if, you, if you're in a relationship that has its own natural challenges, you'll be experiencing heightened challenges now. Um, so it's difficult times for everyone, uh, but more difficult times for the people that, you know, are living with, um, you know, especially uh, couples, uh, partners that have, you know, mental health challenges and emotional challenges. World Health Organization Regional Director for Europe, Hans Claude, said stress and anxiety bred by weeks of restriction on public life have made uncertainty, separation and fear part of daily life for many. Your thoughts on this? Oh, yeah, it is true. Um, you know, and, and we all know that you know, 95% of disease is caused by stress, and 100% of stress is caused by wrong belief. Um, the only thing that we are hearing now, you know, in most of the breaking news is, is about death. 
So we're, they're recording, the, the, you know, reporting, you know, the number of deaths every day. But I think the narrative needs to change. Um, yes, we know that many people are dying every day, but we know that far more people are surviving. Um, you know, if you looked at the numbers, you find out that between, you know, 90 to, you know, 90, 94% of people are, are beating COVID-19. And so, and so the narrative needs, needs to change. Um, stress, uh, we're all at a, at a high, high level of stress. Because guess what, your 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 cells, uh, your 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 internal system is eavesdropping on you know the information out there, is eavesdropping on the conversations that you're having out there, is eavesdropping on your thoughts, and you know, like you've quoted the World Health Organization, you know, stated that 80 to 90 percent of healthcare challenges, whether mental, emotional, or physical healthcare challenges, you know. Um, you know, um, is related to stress. So it's it's very, very important that we understand, you know, the import and the impact of stress now. Many people are stressed. All right. There might be a possible extension of lockdown in, in many countries and maybe even in Nigeria, uh, as the report has it. What, what steps do you think people can take right now to cope the issues of, you know, mental breakdown and domestic violence? Oh, all right. So there's a phenomenon that I've always spoken about. I call it boost your dose of dose. Um, you know, um, what is stress? Stress really means that, you know, you have a perception about your situation. Um, you are interpreting what is going on with you in a certain, you know, in a certain way. And so first thing is to change your focus from, you know, um, thinking that you have no control. Um to mastering your emotional state. Now, build your emotional immunity. Once you build your emotional immunity, you master your emotional state, um, you will be able to overcome this. So let me, let me just share the concept of boosting your dose of dose. Um, every day, you know, I've already spoken about us being biochemical beings, right? And being biochemical beings means that, you know, we've got to balance our biochemicals. Right now, stress releases more cortisol and adrenaline, but you need to balance the quantity or the dose of adrenaline and cortisol with a dose of what we call the four happy hormones, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. Let me take that again. Balance the injection of cortisol and adrenaline with the injection of dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. They are happy hormones. They are calmness hormones. They are tranquility hormones. And how do you do it naturally? It's your lifestyle. First thing is make sure that you eat foods that are rich in tyrosine. Eggs, fish, avocado, almonds, bananas. Exercise a minimum of three times a week. Exercise for a minimum of 25 to 30 minutes. Each time you exercise, practice a lot of meditation. It is very, very, very key. Make sure that you sleep regularly and make sure that you sleep well. And make sure that you have good sleep because one of the things that is happening is COVID-19 is really, really affecting you know people's sleep uh, behaviors. Listen to good soul music. And uh, Now, it's important that you take food supplements, uh, vitamin B, vitamin B complex, vitamin D, vitamin E. You know, and vitamin C, it is very, very key that, you know, uh, your diet is rich, is healthy. Make sure that you're in a place of contentment. Um, enjoy, you know, um, interactions with, with loved ones online and make sure that you cut yourself off negative information and negative news. This is very, 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 very key. Um, you know, increase your level of creativity, you know, increase your level of empathy, reduce your sugar intake. Make sure that you have a healthy balance, emotional, physical, psychological balance. Eat foods that are rich in, in, in protein, foods like turkey, fish, you know, eat dark chocolate. Um, make sure once in a while you, you, you cook your favorite meal or you order your favorite meal. You know, treat yourself, even though you're locked down at home, you know, give yourself a good treat. Then most importantly, every 55 minutes, get up, walk around and stretch. Every 55 minutes, get up, walk around, stretch, 
you know, that is very, very important. And get a lot of comedy because this is the time to laugh, 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 laugh. And then if you have the stomach for it, eat foods that are spicy. Um, you know, and, and if, 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 you know, you, you also have a stomach uh, for it, you know, drink a, a glass of, of wine, you know, um, every other day or every three days. Finally, Ms. Lari, looking at the economic vulnerabilities of our poor standard of living peculiar to developing countries like Nigeria, how can citizens begin to live a more productive life? Well, you know, um, you've got to realize that, you know, everyone is going through this. Um, and then you've got to ask yourself, what can I do differently? Um, and first thing is you have to reconnect with yourself. Uh, you've got to develop a new relationship with yourself because the you before COVID-19 is completely different from the you now. So the key is reconnect with yourself. The second thing that you want to do is ensure that you, you, know, you do a research about your industry, you do a research about your products and your services and, and, and the markets that you believe that you're out there to dominate, do a research about your customers' new behavior and their critical pain points, now, when we talk about reconnecting with yourself, you have to re realize that you are, first of all, a spirit being. You have a mind or, and a soul, and you live in an earth suit, and then you are placed in an environment, right? So, you know, your psychology affects your, your biology. Your biology affects, you know, your reactions and your actions, right? Your sociology also affects your reactions. So it is psychology and, 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 and sociology you know, that you need to balance, you know. So so reconnect with yourself, spirit, soul, body, environment, how you interpret what is going on within your environment, right? Research on the person that you were, research on the business you used to do, research on your customer behavior before, research on your markets before, and ask yourself what has changed or what will change post-COVID-19 and then position to recreate yourself. You know, recreating yourself requires that you understand your target market, that you understand yourself, because a man who doesn't know himself hasn't even started living yet. Um, Socrates says that an unexamined life is not worth living. So you need to reexamine your life, and then you need to recreate yourself, your substance and form. What solution were you born to be? What problems were you created uh, to solve? You know, what needs are you there um, to meet? And then reintroduce yourself. <clears throat> reposition yourself I I into the market, reconnect and re-engage with, with your marketplace, with your loved ones, with your, 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 you know, the people that you do business with. And lastly, you've got to rebuild your brand. You've got to rebuild your business. You've got to rebuild yourself one step at a time. Because, you know, until you get out there, you would not know how people, how the market or how things are going to react or how you are going to react and respond to things. So it's about the six hours, reconnect, research, recreate, re-engage, re re reconnect with the market, repo reposition with the market, and rebuild. Behavioral Life Coach Larry Olushola, it's been a pleasure having you join us in News on Hour for your insightful contribution. Thank you very much.